Need help? Better call Jackson. Fighting back in your community and safeguarding your home. If you have an issue, better call Jackson. You know, a lost dog, it could be an emotional hardship on pet owners, and that's the case of Bill Lowry. His dog missing for months, but imagine Bill's surprise when he found his missing dog, but was then told he couldn't have his dog back. Bill Lowry served our country in Iraq and Kuwait, a total of 16 months. Doctors diagnosed him with PTSD when he came home. He adopted a pit bull terrier. He named her Sweetie. It was to help him with his issues and also teach his 10-year-old about responsibility. The dog seemed to fit the bill. Since I've had this dog, it's helped me tremendously. I don't take many meds for my PTSD. So the dog was helping? Yes, very much so. Last November, Bill says someone took Sweetie while she was outside for a bathroom break. The dog turned up at the Franklin County Animal Shelter. She had cuts and scars in her face and body. Adopt a pit rescue stepped in and assumed medical and financial responsibility, making it the new owner. Bill applied to get her back. Rescue's mission is to get a dog back to their home, or if they can't find that home, to get them into a new home. Well, they found I found them. They know where this dog belongs, and they just simply refuse to give me my dog. I spoke to the rescue's director. She explained an adoption can be denied without any reason. Sweetie had been adopted out. Another blow for Bill and his son. He was so excited. And then uh, after, our, he thought we was getting our dog back, which so did I. And, um, and then uh, I had to tell him again, like, no, we're not getting our dog back. It's more than a pet. Oh, yeah. The rescue's director hinted to me that some of Sweetie's cuts and scratches were from possible mistreatment before she was lost. That's something Bill flatly denies. That's the picture right before she was taken. There's not a mark of flaw on this dog. It's a perfect, healthy dog. Now, I spoke with Susan Smith. She's with the Franklin County Animal Shelter, and she tells me that Bill's problems could have been avoided if he had licensed his dog. You know, that's the, you know, the main thing there. Make sure your dog is licensed and microchip. Now, these are mistakes that Bill admits to after the fact. But he says, you know, the added cost can put a real strain on a single parent. But several times a year, the Franklin County Dog Shelter does offer free microchip clinics. You can have your dog microchip. Now, Bill was using Sweetie as a comfort dog. There's a big difference between a comfort dog and a service dog. But in all cases of service dogs, those animals are chipped. So cases like Bill, which can turn pretty emotional, are avoided. If you have an issue in your community, I'd like to hear about it. All you have to do is call toll-free 1-855-445-JACKSON. Leave me a message about the issue that's affecting you and your family. You can also fill out a form at bettercalljackson.com or Hit me up on Facebook. I just feel so bad for him. You know how I am about my dogs. I just, I don't know what I would do if someone just took him. And one of the things I did learn, Colleen, is that rescues do a wonderful job, but there's no regulation for rescues. They can establish their own rules, and in this particular case, this rule is really not in the favor of Bill, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. It is another reminder, though, the importance of microchips. Chip those pets. Yeah, let's get over to Dave.